Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 88. My name is Tanya. Alright, well, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you press this play button. For me, it's very early in the morning. Spirits like, get on the horn. So, I got to do what I got to do. So, these are collective readings, any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a designated gender. So flip the roles. I could be saying you, meaning a person. Could be saying a person and meaning you. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel and it helps me tune into your energy. And with that, let's call in spirit. And let's get this party started, shall we? Spirit guides and angels. Get what it's like. A clear message for the collective. One that brings healing, hope, and understanding of their situation. Protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages. And please protect my beautiful collective. Alright, let's do it. Barry, give me an overall message here. And it could be very specific. And it could be for several different people. So take what resonates and leave the rest, baby. That's all I can say. Past, present, or future energy could also be at play at all times. Okay? Keep that in mind. Spirit, give me a message, please. Since you woke me up this early in the morning, what you got to say, Spirit? Hey, you got to say a lot. Mm -hmm. We knows, we knows. All right, let me do this again because I shuffle one more time. One or two cards, please. Not the whole deck. What do we got? Seduction. Mm -hmm. And heartbroken. Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. Clarity and truth. Reminiscing or watching you. Somebody was charmed. And not today. Hmm. Not today and tomorrow ain't looking good either, but somebody's watching you. Somebody that's watching you that's heartbroken. Yeah. They're avoiding conversating with you. They're avoiding talking to you. Past, present, or future energy. They still could be. I haven't heard from this person. And they're heartbroken about that. Somebody charmed them. Somebody used them. Somebody seduced them. Somebody they were attracted to. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those situations where they wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it too. Yeah, I, that's... The, the frosting, the jimmies, everything that's on top. You know what I mean? They wanted everything. They wanted you. They wanted another person. They were attracted to multiple situations, multiple people, and got trapped with that. Got used. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they broke your heart. And it, it caused them... This push and pull energy of like knowing that, feeling bad about that, but not willing or unable, fill in the blanks with that, to change it. Yeah. Like I said, past, present, or future energy. I think they feel bad to this day about it, to be honest with you. I think they still are heartbroken because... 
they knew that you were worth being loyal to. Maybe it took this situation where they got burned by a person in order for them to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knowledge. Truth and clarity is here. So the sword and the rose, right? Charmed by the rose, but pricked by the thorn in the rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Learning, man. Learning through their own pain what they did to you and it's breaking their heart even more they were seduced yeah not that that's an excuse i'm not trying to make one but i think that they can have more understanding of the people they've burnt apathy's here yeah through their own experiences now they can see the other side of it or walk in a, a mile in the other person's shoes and see what they did to you which is hurting them too it's not just what they did how you felt about it but now they feel the same way it's like a mirroring in a sense you know, the snake is here again mm. yeah so the other woman so it could be a feminine energy Yeah, Cupid's arrow it could have been that this person was charmed like a snake, right? Flattered is what I'm hearing in my head in spirit. That your person might be good looking and it was like a lot of people charmed this person. <laughs> but this one in particular, they were super flattered by because this other person's good looking too other people liked this person the fact that they were looking at them the person they were like Ooh, you know what I mean could be they were like the full package aesthetically yeah that's what I'm hearing Very confirm and deny this oh something flipped over let's see what it is Great fortune. Oh. Great fortune. So money has a play in this. Occupation. Maybe your person makes good money. Mm -mm. Marriage at the bottom of the deck, man. Marriage at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pathway. They took another path. Your person could have had status and money and this other good-looking person took advantage of that saw a way in you know like a quarterback sees an opening to make a throw they, they, they went for it they knew that your person would be I don't know roped in how they could rope them in through flattery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what is coming out in the cards. There's a card that's out of this deck that doesn't belong here, but it's Venom. And it says, let me in, said the spider to the fly. Yeah, man, that's a trap. Ooh, they snapped the trap. They snapped the trap on your person. They knew it was like this person's kryptonite or this Achilles heel. They flatter them because I remember, let me give you an example. I remember this person that I knew, right? They used to say that. If a person said to them that they were good looking, they would take it with a grain of salt, depending on, and don't get offended by this, anybody out there. This is a story. This is true, though, what this person said to me. Right or wrong, I'm not judging it, so don't judge me for repeating it. But what I'm saying is what this person said to me was that when a person flatters them, they take it with a grain of salt. If the person isn't good looking, they don't take 
the weight of their message does not bear much to them. It's like if the person quote unquote ugly, then I don't care what they think of me. It's like, I'm not gonna, I don't believe their words because it's like, they're ugly. And I swear to God, do not get offended by this. This is what this person said to me, not how I feel. I get that straight. Don't get it twisted. But if a person is good looking and they say I'm good looking, then I believe what they say. And I'm like, that makes no sense. And I'm like, I said, well, I think that you're a handsome guy. So what does that say to you? He's like, then I believe you. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vanity, man. But it's that type of situation in this in this case, because this individual is good looking. They were able to flatter your person even more. Right. And get them away from it you or not necessarily was this person trying to get them away from you your person went to this person and turned away from you yes because they thought wow this is hmm, a surprise that I can't pass up that's what I'm hearing that's why that story resonated with me. It brought back that memory of what that person said to me because of that. Does it make sense? I guess it's all interpretation. Personally, that wouldn't work in my case because I don't go by what the eye is. I'm not, I don't care about what a person's looks are. The person is a nice person. Funny. Has to be funny. That means more to me than what you look like aesthetically. 12, 12 on the clock to confirmation. But other people, it, they go by a different criteria, like my friend. And, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. They turned away from you based on what somebody else looked like. Oof. I don't know. That's why they're miserable today. Hello. Sleepless nights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, spirit equal give and take and I feel like there's this awakening with this person because sword in the rose truth and clarity is here revelations here they should have gave you equal give and take they realize you gave more and now they realize that based on what this person's given them which is like the bare minimum if not zero 13 13 and they should have offered it to you because you were deserving of that. And not to say that you're not good looking. But this particular individual that they picked was like what they called the full Monte. Had it all, you know. Had what other people would be jealous of. It's like having a supermodel on your arm type of th situation. And they just couldn't. And they flatted them on top of it. Where you could have been pretty, handsome, right? More reserved, maybe. Maybe not so flashy. This person, I think, is a little bit more flashier than you. Maybe in dress and also in words, 1414. Yeah, please forgive me. Mm hmm Time out is here. But they're watching you, though. Despite that, they're watching you. Yeah. They've never, like, stopped watching you. They hold you in high honor. Yeah. And they could be, because text, email, phone call, they could be... Uh, trying to contact you or call you and hang up or call you and not say nothing or I don't know from fake numbers is that right yeah it's 
something could be happening like that if you're getting phone calls and all of a sudden it's like they hang up or they don't say nothing or whatever. I think that's numbers you see that could be on your phone that say possible spam or something. This could be this person trying to reach out to you. Yeah. 1515 was there before. I don't, I don't want to keep saying numbers, but synchronicities are just like flying here. It's crazy. Yeah, spiritual awakenings here. This person's looking at their life, looking at what, what is it? Vanity, like looking at how shallow they were. Yeah. And seeing the bigger picture here. Thank you, spirit. Friends. You could have been friends with this person. Mm hmm You could have been a very good friend to this person, and they felt like you deserved better than what they did to you. Because somebody basically screwed them over, you know? Somebody they put a lot of stock in because marriage was here. The fact that they turned their whole life around to be with this person, right? Thinking that this was the one that would fit their aesthetics, their lifestyle, what other people thought. I don't know. That's kind of weird, but that's what I'm hearing. Trapped is here. Yeah. Oh, well, she got trapped. But they're wanting you. Longing's here. Longing twice. Must be a double print of that card. Twin flame is here. Mm -hmm. And escaping, they pushed you away. They pushed you away. Yeah. Thank you. Spirit. This perspective is here. Yep, yep, yep. And ecstasy, chasing thrills. That's what they did. Maybe they thought you were better off without them. They were looking at it from that way. Trying to, like, reason it out type of thing, you know. I'm not saying make excuses, but trying to, like, say, well, I'm doing them a favor type of thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, I'm trying. They're better off without me because I'm too toxic or I'm too, like, I don't know. I'm not. I'm, they didn't want to hurt you, is what I'm hearing. They didn't want to hurt you. They knew that they weren't right in some way. You know, like they. I don't know. There's something where their beliefs didn't align with yours. Yeah, maybe they were like a bad boy or wanted to push that persona out there, and you were like a good person. I don't know. Something like that. And then this other person that they chose or turned towards, possibly married, is like them. Mm hmm Yeah. Somebody that's clinging to. See, they were in their south node, which is their sexual energy. They were in a toxic state. They were going towards that. And this person is a clinger. Controls them with sex. Uses that as a weapon against them. They knew certain truths about your person. That they would be easily flattered. That they would... That they, they liked what they looked like. They knew that your person liked them that way. They dressed a certain way to attract this person. They said the right things to attract your person. They knew how to get them. Yep. Spying, though. They're watching you. Mm. Fate took them in a different... Uh, it was divine protection for you, but intervention as well. Fate took you in different directions based on their toxicities, right? Yeah, it says they're right there, Dark Knight. They're in their shadow side. Mm. They want to. They want to see you again. 
but their fears kept them from pursuing you in a sense of what are they afraid of, right? If they have it all. Not living up to your expectations, being one of them, 2020. You know, not being what you deserved. Being toxic. Hurting you, right? Breaking your heart. I don't know, there was something big there with that. Where they knew that maybe you were a friend, right? And they knew that if they showed you their side, their true nature, that you would be broken hearted. Better to run away now and to break your heart later, right? Yeah. Here, confirm this, please. And the tarot. Yeah. Ten of Swords, yeah. I believe that there's a lot of wounding in this person. Swords is air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I believe that somebody broke them. But instead of them, 2021, 21, 21, instead of them doing that to you, they walked away from you. It's not that they didn't love you because two of cups is here and cups is the water energies, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they chose a different person, a different path. Somebody that was more in line with them. Somebody that was like them. And it broke their own heart. Three of Swords is here. Broke their own heart when they did that to you. You know. Because you didn't deserve it. And you were better than that. You didn't. But they felt like at the time... They were doing you a favor, is what I'm hearing from spirit. Like, you were better off than without him. They were juggling too much toxicities, right? You're the empress, the embodiment of everything. All the queens of the decks in the upright position. You are fertile. You are beautiful. But they could have mistaken this person for that person, the empress, because of what they look like aesthetically on the outside, yeah? This is the king of wands, and that's... Fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Very sexual energy. And even if they don't predominantly have that in their chart, they weren't born in those months, they have it in their chart because we all have more than one astrological sign in our chart. They were presenting as that in their toxicity is sexual, you know? It was all about that. That south node side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a test. It was really a test. Nine of Wands. And they failed it. They fell for the game. Got burned. Yeah. They pushed you away. Because they knew they were toxic on some level, right? They felt like they were doing you a favor by keeping away from you. Because they were only going to hurt you in the end. And you were too good for that. Too good for that in their mind because they put you on a pedestal in a sense, right? They held you in high honor. This other person, they were used to that kind of person. Used to a person flattering them, right? Used to a person chasing them. But it was more than that. It was this person looked like everything that they wanted in a person. Female, male, fill in the blank. And other people noticed this individual too. And now they're turning towards them, flattering them. They're like, oh my God, I can't pass this up. The person's too sexy. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. And burnt themselves. All right, spirit. Cause and effect is here. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. So it can also be the opposite. By you not loving yourself, you also attract individuals like that into your life. Toxic people. And there's serious consequences. And that's what happened with this person. They weren't aware of self-love. They did not love themselves. Even if they looked nice on the outside, that's not how they felt. And this person who looks nice on the outside that was attracted to them, pulled them in. It was very, I don't know, 
all vain. You know, it was so superficial. But it worked. It worked. And I think this is what your person is learning with this revelation, with this awakening, is that the I, it's not all about that, what somebody looks like on the outside. Not to be truly happy. Because looks can fade. It's what this person is about. Do they align really with me? And people grow. And I think this person, your person's growing and they're realizing they want more than just what a person looks like on the outside. They really want a person that has depth and they found that in you. But they got trapped. Yeah. So I'm hearing possibly through a marriage. But you, on the other hand, are the embodiment of love. And they felt that love that you radiate. A beautiful light, you know, that they wish they would have gave their all to, gave you a chance. So I'm hearing they regret that, really. They really, truly do regret that. And they wish you could forgive them. The last card I'm going to read is present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So you are that light, that love. And it's not just towards this person. Everybody that comes in contact with you feels that love. Never fear less because a person couldn't see your worth. You see your worth. And that's when other people will too. Thank you for joining me on Empress Aries 888. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. Till next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.